We are at the Carlin Lynch Activity Center on the campus of Dartmouth High School as Dartmouth Community Media and DCTV is proud to present exclusive coverage of Dartmouth High School Lady Indians Varsity Basketball Action as they take on the Lady Bears of Greater New Bedford Regional Volk Tech in a non-conference tilt. Good evening, everyone. Ian Abreu here courtside, joined along with my partner for this evening, Dartmouth High School sophomore Ben Smith. Ben, welcome to the broadcast. And I know before we tip things off here this evening, you were speaking to both coaches of uh, both of these squads. We had Coach Mike Pryor on the Volk side and Coach Brian Jalbert on the Dartmouth High side. Seems that we've got two teams heading in different directions. One team is ascending toward the postseason tournament. They're laden with veterans. And the other team at 1-10 and 10 being Volk, they're loaded with a lot of underclassmen, but they're learning as the season goes on. Yeah, I was able to talk to Coach Pryor, and he said they're taking it day by day. They're a really young team, and yeah, they're just growing day by day. Um. Thank you, Ben. So let's oh. take a look at the starting lineups of both squads here as we see the announcing of the Lady Indians. All right, for the starting lineups, we got uh, number one uh, guard, hey, Lily Ganji. Guard number five, Remy Barber. Guard number 10, oh, national anthem. We'll pause for the national anthem and we'll return with the finishing of our starting lineups. finish out the Dartmouth High starting lineup. We have Remy Barber, the sophomore guard, Catherine Cheesebro, the sophomore guard, Haley Martins, the junior forward, and also up front will be Abby Zuber, the senior forward. Uh, before the broadcast, Ben, we were chatting about Catherine Cheesebro, only a sophomore, but she's playing like a senior. She's really the leader of this team. Yeah, um, last year she uh, proved it out all on the court. Um, she could see the court. She sees the court very well. Uh, she's a really good basketball player as well. Alrighty, we're about set for the opening tip. The starting five for the Greater New Bedford Vogue Tech Bears. We have Ella Costa, the sophomore forward. Kiara Dubois, the freshman guard. Layla Pyers, the sophomore forward. Also up front will be Maria Sanchez Vasquez, the junior forward, and in the backcourt, Kelis Diaz, the junior guard. The tip is controlled by the Indians right near us, and Lily Ganji will start it right across the timeline. Here's Barber. Baseline, Barber is smacked down on the baseline, and that'll be the first team foul of the evening. It'll go against the Vogue Tech Lady Bears, and Sanchez will be the one called for the foul. Zuber kicks it up top to Barber. Give and go between her and Ganji. Ganji down low. Turnaround shot now by Cheesebro. No good. Back ironed. Rebound grab by the Bears. Here's Dubois now across that timeline. Looking to go coast to coast. Instead, she dumps it off to Costa. Costa now leaves it back to Dubois on a give and go. Shot is high and wild. Ball is deflected out of bounds. It'll be Dartmouth ball. Great defense there by Remy, Remy Barber. Uh, Trying to get the steal, uh, but unable to, but able to watch that ball go out of bounds. 
Here's Ganji, the freshman guard. She's the quarterback of this offense in this first possession. Going right to the rack, in and out is Cheesebro. No good, put back again, no good. But drawing the contact was Haley Martins. She'll shoot a pair at the charity stripe. So the Indians will have a chance to draw first blood here. Uh, two quick fouls now already against Sanchez Vasquez, the junior forward. Brian Jalbert, the head coach of the Lady Indians in his first full season. He was the longtime assistant coach under Scott Richards, doing a pretty good job in his first year as making one of two as Martins. It's it, really excellent that uh, Coach Galper has done with this team throughout the year so far. Full court press and a steal by Barbara gives way to Cheesebro. She'll slow it down. Good defense there by the Lady Indians. There's a three by Ganji. Is wide of the goal, out of bounds. It'll be Vogue Tech basketball with the score one to nothing in favor of the Indians. Well, Ben, as my broadcast partner for many of these basketball games, Derek Baptiste would always say, you got to hit your free throws no matter what happens. That's how you win these games. And, and you saw there earlier, the Indians are only able to hit one of two. Give and go floater off the glass is good by Layla Pyers. And the Bears take their first lead of the evening. It's two to one. Great shot there by Pyers. Able to get that off the glass in, in the basket. Vogue Tech now playing in a man-to-man -man zone. Down low now to Cheesebro. Thought about a turnaround shot. We'll kick it top of the arc to Ganji. That's a two-pointer. Oh, no, a three. They're going to give her a three. No, a two. I'm sorry. They scheduled, they, he held his hand up to schedule for a three, and then he pulled it back to a two. It's a two-point field goal. No, it is a three. I'm sorry. It is a three. I was three. about to say it that. It is a three, and then we have a transition and laying it up and in a Zuber. We had a confusion here. The near side official had his arms up for a three. He pulled it down. He held up two fingers, but then, of course, it was a three. Let's take, a la let's take another look at that last basket in the steal by Zuber. Now look at this. Taking off the steal and driving it up off the layup. Great shot there by Zuber off the glass as well. So the Indians have now, thanks to a quick three and then a quick two off a of steal in transition, have now doubled their lead. It's now 6-2. to two. They're up by four points. And with that, head coach Mike Pryor will burn his first timeout. Only a 30-second timeout. Got to reset here. Got to calm everything down. Again, Vogue Tech comes in this evening at 1-10. A young team, as I mentioned during the starting lineups, a lot of sophomores, a freshman. Heck, you have a freshman starting point guard in Kiara Dubois. So obviously, um, uh, this is a learning season for the Bears, and there's going to come some lumps with that, but um, it's cyclical at the high school and collegiate level. These things happen every four to five years. Yeah, future is bright for New Bedford. Here's Dias. Now she'll run the point for the Bears. Hop, skip, jump, over to Costa. Thought about a three, she'll take it back up. Here's Dubois, nice spinorama. There's a three on the corner, up. No good, the shot was taken by Dias. Ball is on the deck, who wants it? Grabbed by Zuber, and Cheesebro is off to the races. Count it, and she'll go to the line. Catherine Cheesebro, and one, and she'll have a chance for the old school three-point play. Yeah, look at that. Catherine Cheesebro off the glass and draws the foul. The foul goes against Daenera De Vega, the junior, coming off the bench off that last timeout. That's her first personal third team foul. Kathy has such a sweet touch at that charity stripe. We saw it last year. Nice arc to her free throw shooting. And she makes the three-point play, and the Indians are starting to really distance themselves here. It's now 9-2. to two. Here's Dias, gets her pocket picked, and Ganji is off to the races. 11-2 to two now in favor of the Tribe. And now we have a stoppage. Looks like we had a scuff mark, but all is clear, and we're ready to go. Dubois sees an opening. Circus-like shot is good. Kiara Dubois, left-handed floater. It's 11-4. to four. Great shot there off the glass as well by Dubois. 
Barber drops it back to Zuber. Nice cut to Cheesebro, and it's good. Cheesebro with five points so far in the first quarter. That was a beautiful end cut by the baseline. Pyers drops it back up top to Dubois, who scored that last bucket for Volk. She's having all sorts of trouble with the two-on-one defense by the Indians. Loses it, but it goes into the mitts of Pyers. They have to hurry. Ten on the shot clock. Costa will take it herself. No good. Rebound. Who else? Cheesebro. And the Indians have numbers. Cheesebro all alone. Yes. How about that? Catherine Cheesebro. Seven points so far in the first quarter. She's having herself a day so far currently. And Ben, she's on fire. And as we talked about during the open, she's once again leading this offense. Yeah. Expect Catherine Cheesebro putting, putting up a lot of points today. Die is his pass, errantly stolen by who else? Cheesebro, but she misses the gimme. Oh boy, that's one she makes 10 times out of 10. She'd like to have that one back. And Dubois grabs the rebound in transition. The announcer's jinx. The announcer's yeah. jinx. The pass that time by Costa is errant stolen by Cheesebro. Stops, pops, but she atones for her last miss with that free throw line jumper. It's now 17 to four. Cheesebro with nine. It's been child's play so far for the Indians. Another pass, another steal by Barber. Barber all alone down low. The layup is up and good by Haley Martins. Count it and she'll go to the line. And we'll take a look as Haley Martins will have the opportunity for a three point play. Usually Haley Martins averages two points a game, but wow, off the glass and in and draws the foul. And the foul Excellent. goes against Daniera De Vega coming off the bench. She has picked up two quick fouls. That's now 14 fouls against the Lady Bears. Nice touch by Haley, and she makes the three-point play. And you can certainly see, Ben, the inexperience of the Bears here. A lot of errant mistakes and passes, and it's not due to lack of talent. It's just due to lack of maybe cohesion of playing together and just inexperience. Yeah, um, they're just a young team, and I feel like well coaching, in sports, coaching matters, and they need really well coaching as well. So That's a three ball for Layla Pyers, the lefty, high off the rim and in. Nice shot. It's 20-7. to seven. And I honestly have to hate to be a critic, but uh, you, well, you got to think. Well, if you want to get in this business, my friend, you've <laughs> got to be a critic. Because there are those that do, which is them out there, and there those who think they can do that are us, and we critique. Sorry, I'm not Tony Romo. <laughs> <laughs> in due time, my friend, in due time. <laughs> Here's Dubois, leaves it off to Pyres. But like I said, this Vogue Tech team has a lot of talent. You can see it out there. It's a matter of just putting it all together. Pyers. Turnaround shot with her right hand this time is no good. Rebound grabbed by Kaylin Zuber off the bench. And as you just said, they have a lot of talent like Ka Ki Kiara Nice Zubal. layup on the cut. No good by Zuber. Ball is on the floor. We're going to get a jump ball called. And the arrow is going to go to Volk. Yeah, once again, uh, like I just said before, um, they got Kiara Dubois, who's a talented guard as well. Um, she's had a lot from her start when she was younger. Um, I think she's in Ball is state. loose, stolen away from Dubois, all alone. Layup is no good, that time taken by Oliveira. Oliveira, a second chance, is good. Ava Oliveira on a second opportunity. She makes good, it's 22 to seven. Ava Oliveira is on, usually on the bench, but today she's getting more action today. A floater, no good, but we'll get free throws here as Dubois Goes to the rim, and we'll take a look at that last second effort by Oliveira. Once again, he she's usually a bench player, but man, oh man, what a shot off the glass, but rebound, great rebound there by Martin, and puts it up and in. Well, when you're playing against an inexperienced team, uh, Ben, and I've been covering high school and collegiate sports for a while, when you have players on your team uh, that you think are going to, you know, you are obviously handily in front of this game at 22 to eight. This is the kind of game where you want to empty that bench. You want to get these young ladies or young men, whomever is playing, get them that experience. 
Yeah, 100%. You have to get them in and get them experience so far. And that's what Dartmouth is doing right now. Their only starter that's on the court is Catherine Cheesebro. Zuber over to Cheesebro. Three ball for the money. No good rebound is loose. Who wants it? And it's grabbed by Sarah Kelly. Ball is loose. It was deflected back. But nice back hustling that time by Oliveira to steal it away. Cheesebro down low. The pass to Kelly is no good out of bounds. It'll be Voktek ball. That's one there probably Sarah Kelly would have wanted back when you're all alone under the hoop. You want to go off the window. Yeah, 100%. Uh, you don't want to do a fl uh, uh, nothing but net shot there because there is a 50-50 chance that you're not going to make that. Pyers drops it back, thinking about a long three was Dias, but she smartly sucks it back in and drops it off. Here's another steal, another turnover. This time it's Kelly all alone. Yes, Sarah Kelly banks one in. Now Sarah Kelly has answered the wake-up call now. It's now 24-8. to eight. As we just duck under a minute to go in this first stanza. Another wild floater by Dubois. No good. The putback no good. That time by Pyers. And the rebound is grabbed by Cheesebro. And we have the shot clock turned off. And the Indians will probably, I would assume, play for the last shot here. Here's Kojikaru, does not play for the last shot, puts it up, no good. Rebound, second shot, no good. But she is smacked on the way to the goal, and she'll shoot two at the line. The foul is going to go against Kiara Dubois. Excuse me, check that. It's going to go actually against Kalise Diaz. So Alexandra makes one of two at the line, and now Vogue Tech, I would assume, would try to play for that last shot. Here's Dias, drops it back down to Dubois. Is she thinking three? Handoff now on the right side, slowing it down. And they didn't get a shot out. Did I not get a shot out, but that's akin to leadership on the bench. And on the court, you've got to yell out the shot clock where it's going. And the Voktek Bears were just dribbling the ball around and they didn't get a last shot. That's certainly a possession they'd want to have back. I think they got miscommunicated there. Um, and one of the coaches said, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. And I don't think she knew that the shot clock was going down. Well... Again, as we talked about, that comes with experience. So after one quarter of play, the score, the Dartmouth High School Indians 25, the Greater New Bedford Vogue Tech Bears 8. We'll be right back with second quarter action in just a quick moment. All right, we're back with second quarter action. Ian Abreu alongside Ben Smith, and the Indians will inbound right in front of us. Uh, ben, uh, there wasn't much to critique the Indians on in that first quarter. Pretty much everything clicked. Defense, scoring, everything. Yeah, 100%. Defense playing really well, and shooting has been really well for Dartmouth as well. That's a two. One foot was on the line. One foot was off. The shot by Zuber was no good. Rebound to Volk. Here is Dias. Dias hands it off to Dubois. Dubois, again, only a freshman, but boy, she has a lot of talent. You can see it. She has natural ball handling abilities. I think she does uh, base State uh, basketball. Which... Yeah, you can tell. Dubois, a leave off, a three that time by Pyers, who hit one earlier, was no good. Rebound on the deck was grabbed by Dias. The shot is up and no good, but the foul will be on the floor. It will not be a two-shot foul. The Indians will be flagged for the foul. That's their second personal, and that will be the, the, the second team foul, I should say, the first personal against Sarah Kelly. Here's Dubois. 
Dubois trying to go one on one. A floater, and it's good. We were just talking about the talent of Kiara Dubois, and it was on full display there. Yeah, 100%. She's showing it all right now. Kojikaru leaving it off, and a swing around we go. Back to Kojikaru. She'll slow it down to Cheesebro. Turnaround is good. Catherine Cheesebro, a turnaround fadeaway jumper. She is on fire tonight, 27 to 10, Dartmouth. Yeah, great shot there by Catherine Cheesebro from the 10 footer range. Three point attempt is blocked. Nice block by Kelly. The ball is still loose, folks still has possession. Here's Dubois. Another wild floater. No good. Rebound is Dubois gets her own missed shot. Great hustle. There's another attack at the net. It was by Pyers. No good. Rebound to Kelly. And here we go. The Indians have numbers if they hurry. Going all alone is Kaylin Zuber. Her shot is up and no good. There is a block, but with that block comes contact. And we'll get two free throws at the line. And Ben, let's take a look at that last turnaround jumper by Cheesebro. Yeah, look at that. Nothing but net and bang. The foul, by the way, will go against Layla Pyers. That's her first personal, sixth team foul. So now any foul going forward from here against Folk Tech, they'll be in the penalty. It'll be at least a one and one if it's on the floor. And then once you hit 10, no matter if it's shooting or not, you'll be in the double bonus. We're gonna get a foul over the back. on that attempt right there at uh, the missed free throw. And now we've got Vogue Tech now with possession of the ball going across the center court. Dias is stolen. Cheesebro all alone. Bang. 20 point lead now for the Indians. 30 to 10 your score. Captain Cheesebro, 13 points so far. Pyers, a wild circus-like shot, no good. But she's smacked by Ava Oliveira on the way up. And she'll shoot a pair at the line. Let's take another look at that last Cheesebro basket. Ben, it's been the Cheesebro show here in the first half. Yeah, 100%. Captain Cheesebro showing it out on the court here. They're going to give the foul to Sarah Kelly, actually, which both Kelly and Oliveira were there. They both created the contact, but the far side official has decided that Kelly will be the one flagged. That is her second personal, third team foul. The Indians are certainly in good foul positioning here with still 5.45 to go. The second shot is up and good. It's now 30 to 11. All right, here's Ganji, who's back in the game. She started, bounce pass down low. Floater given out, passed up top by Sullivan. Sullivan, turnaround shot is up and good. That's Cheesebro again. My Lord, she is in fuego tonight here in Dartmouth. Man, oh man, she's got 15 points so far. 15 foot jumper, splash for Sanchez Vasquez. It's now 32 to 13. Kaylin Zuber off the window and it's good. Kaylin Zuber, the freshman guard off the bench, 34 to 13. It is now a 21 point Indian lead, their largest of the ball game. Dias could have been called for a travel there, but with the score being what it is, they'll let it go. Certainly a three foot hop, skip and jump there, but it is what it is. Still a nice play and a nice shot and Dias scores, it's 34 to 15. Dartmouth getting a little cute with it there. The ball was stripped away, but it's grabbed back by Sullivan. Sullivan, we get it back up top. A deep three by Ganji. It rolls around and in. Lily Ganji, it had all sorts of English on it, Ben, but it found its way home. Yeah, what a great shot by Lily Ganji. You never see this from her, but man, what a shot. Dias. Trying to move around a pick. Now Ganji is all over, Dubois on the defense. Dartmouth trying to create another turnover with 10 seconds to go on the shot clock. There's a deep three hard off the window and the rebound grabbed by the Indians. That shot was taken by Pyers. It looked like that shot was gonna go in. I thought it was really gonna go in. She tried the bank shot, just fell short. 
Here's Zuber dropping it off now. That's a floater on the right side. It's good. Madison Pine off the bench. Wow, Madison Pine. And Coach Albert's putting all their bench players in right now. And so far, most of them have had points so far. Well, you know, this is the time and the game to do it. Uh, when you're playing a team that's inexperienced uh, and you want to get everybody some action, get them some experience, this is the time to do it. Nice layup and shot there by Pyers for the field goal. It's 39 to 17. And speaking of bench players, they're going to bring out a JV player right now uh, who's moving up to varsity, Valerie Carrera as well. A phenomenal point guard for the JV team as well. Passes out of bounds. It'll be Voke Tech ball. And now we've got those subs coming in. You talked about it. We'll have Samantha Kamara coming in. And Valerie Carrera, as you talked about. Cheese Bros taking a breather for a few. I tell you what, this is really good to see. Not good to see from a blowout perspective. You never want to see any of these student athletes get blown out, but if you're a Dartmouth fan, it's a good thing to see all these young ladies getting some major minutes here in big time game experience. 100%. That's a nice three bank shot there by Kiara Dubois. She's done that a few times this evening. It's now a 39-20 game. Eric passed that time by Ganji. Stolen by Vogue Tech. Now you don't want to get too cute though with it because a couple of buckets here and you never know. It could be a 10 point game and hey, if you can get it to 10 at the half, it's anyone's ball game. Now the Indians have a three on two if they hurry. Bounce pass over to Ganji. Ball is loose on the floor. We're probably going, no, we won't have a jump ball as we got to give credit to some great tenacity by Pyers on the floor to get it away before the jump ball was called because the Indians were all over her. The ball is deflected out of bounds. We're going to get a foul against the Indians, however, on the baseline here on the attacking side of the Bears. The foul is going to go against Ganji. That's her first personal fourth team foul with 2.06 to go. Here's Sanchez Vasquez dropping it back now to Costa. Almost a backcourt violation there. She had to save it. Nice play. Down low. Nice pick. Nice cut. Turnaround shot. No good. Rebound grabbed by Sullivan. Now the Indians have transition if they hurry. The ball was too far ahead of Ganji, and she'll slow it down. Three-point shot taken by Pine. No good. Rebound loose. Grabbed by Gonzalez off the bench. Angeline Gonzalez. She now loses it, and it's stolen back by the Indians. And it's grabbed by, that's Kamara. Yeah, good steal there by Samantha Kamara. Kamara will take a three. No good, rebound, Sullivan tips it, loose, grabbed, floater, yes. Ganji cleans up the garbage, but that wouldn't have happened if not for the tip by Sullivan to make it happen. Yeah, I have to give kudos to Sullivan there. Back to a 21 point lead. That's the largest the Indians have had thus far tonight. Shot is up and good. That's going to be a two taken by Dubois. She had one foot on, one foot off. The far side official was all over that call, and he was looking at those feet. It's a two-point field goal, 41-22. Dubois look over here looking like Steph Curry shooting three-pointers. And she's got that arc for sure. She has some real natural talent. Swing it, left side of the arc. Ganji, nice up fake, a floater. It's short, rebound grabbed by Dubois, and now the Bears have numbers if they hurry. Dubois maybe would want to have dropped it back if she had to have a do over there, but she tried to go on the mismatch, and she was blocked. She now takes a three on her own rebound. It's deflected out of bounds. Smart play by Madison Pine to let it go out of bounds. It'll be Dartmouth ball with 23.1 seconds to go in the half. The shot clock is turned off, and I would assume Dartmouth would play for the final shot. Carrera. Nice feed to Kamara. Shot is up. Turn around and good. Three-pointer for Samantha Kamara off the bench. 44 to 22 year score. Now Vogue will play for the last shot. And once again, they won't get it off. A three point shot taken by Sanchez Vasquez. Even if it was good, it would not have counted. Now let's take a look at that last three pointer. Yeah, wide open, off the rim, bounces off the rim at least three times and gets that ball in. Samantha Kamara, she cracks the scorer's sheet. 
And as we head into the second half of action, we are now entering the halftime phase of this tilt here at the Carlin Lynch Activity Center. With the score, the Indians are on top handily, 44 to 22. Stay tuned, second half action will be up in just a quick moment here on DCTV.
Well, it was quite the offensive display put on by the Indians of Dartmouth High School in that first half as they lead by 20, 44 to 22, 22 point lead for the Indians. And well, Ben, uh, you look at the scorer sheet for the Dartmouth High Indians in that first half, all but three cracked the scorer sheet. And uh, boy, we had some real shining stars in that first half, of course, led by Catherine Cheesebro. Yeah, you have to give credit to the bench players as well. Uh, so far, like you just said, three players have not um, scored in that half. Uh, but Catherine Cheesebro finished with 15 points in that half. 15 points, and we had Ganji at 10. Zuber at 3. Oliveira at 2. Um, Pine at 2. We had Martins at 2. Zuber at 2. Uh, Kamara at 3. And Kojo Karu at one. If you're head coach Mike Pryor of the Vogue Tech Bears, Ben, in your opinion, what do you say to your girls to motivate them, obviously? Um, you know, you're down by quite a lot here, and, um, you know, uh, the chances are you're probably not going to win this game, but you certainly want to keep them motivated. Yeah, let's bounce back and try to put it at a minimum margin. Sanchez Vasquez. With a drop off, that's a floater by Maria. No good. Rebound grabbed by the Indians. I like how they just started off the half and tried to get it off the glass, but unable to get it there. Great effort, though. Here's Martins. Down low, the floater is up and good by Abby Zuber. Count it, and she'll go to the line and one. So the Indians have picked up right where they left off in that first half. Abby Zuber, her four first points in the Third quarter, her, her last one was in the first uh, quarter as well, so. And she completes the old school three-point play as 47 to 22. So if you evoke, you just want to try to keep your head in the game, and it's about pride now, and it's about trying to score some points personally for yourselves. There's a three ball taken by Dias, no good. Rebound, hoovered up by Zuber. Zuber now over to Cheesebro. Coast to coast, no good. Rebound to Costa Evoke. Great drive there by Cheesebro. I have to give kudos to her on that one. Wild shot, rebound taken by Cheesebro. And the Indians have numbers. All alone, Zuber, yes. Nice pass by Cheesebro. It all started with her on the outlet pass. Zuber already five points so far in the second half so far. And she's at the moment with seven. Nice crossover by Dias. Her pass intended for Acosta is intercepted by Cheesebro. Coast to coast, yes, off the window, it's good. Head coach Mike Pryor has seen enough. He's gonna burn a timeout with his team now facing a 29 point deficit. Yeah, uh, right now in the huddle, I would just say ball security, keep the ball, protect the ball right now. That's their main problem right now and make some good shots as well. You know, you're down by 29. Maybe at least put it up, uh, at least make it close for the final score to be like 15 points, I'd say. And you can if see by the girls sitting down, that means it's a full timeout that Coach Pryor has called for because he really wants to calm everything down here. Yeah, you don't, you don't want to think things too fast there. Glad you've decided to spend part of your Friday evening with us if you're watching the YouTube live stream courtesy of Dartmouth Community Media and DCTV, or if you're watching us on DCTV local cable in the town of Dartmouth, Ian Abreu alongside Ben Smith. So glad you've decided to spend part of your day with us or your evening, whichever time this may be airing, for the high school athletics game of the week as the Voketech Lady Bears have traveled to the town of Dartmouth to play the hosting team, the Dartmouth High Indians. Another steal, Ganji all alone, yes. Child's play for the Indians here this evening, folks. There's no other way about it. It's a 31 point lead. Here's Pyers, draws a triple team. Instead drops up a three, nice rejection. And the ball is loose on another three ball attempt by Costa, no good. Rebound. It's 
sucked on out to Cheesebro, and she'll slow it down. Wow, I got to give credit on Catherine Cheesebro. Nice cut wide open. Oh, it rolls around and out. Haley Martins had it. It was three quarters of the way down, Ben, and somehow, some way, it just rolled around and came out. The basket, uh, the ball just said, no, I'm not going. <laughs> the basketball guards were not with Haley on that one for sure. <laughs> Here's Pyers. A one on two. Could have been called for a travel there. The shot is wild, no good. Grabbed once again by Cheesebro. I even see it right there, and I said, isn't that a travel? And That's a three if it's good, and it is. Remy Barber from beyond the arc. It's now 56 to 22. That's Barber's first points of the game, which means two players on the bench have not scored today. Well, at the pace the Indians are going with still five minutes to go in this third quarter, I would say everyone cracking the scorer's sheet would be a pretty safe bet if you were to go to Vegas with that. <laughs> Let's take a look at that last three ball by Barber, and that was nothing but net poetry in motion. I mean, you'd be winning $100,000 if you were in Vegas right now, though, <laughs> on this game. <laughs> we had a foul, by the way, against the Indians. The foul win against Remy Barber was her first personal, first team foul. It was non-shooting, inbound behind the basket. The shot is taking its high and wild. Rebound grabbed once again by, who else? Catherine Cheesebro. She can shoot and rebound. Catherine, swing it, left side. Thinking about the three was Barber again. She had the hot hand. She decides to not do that, but a turnaround shot inside the paint is no good by Martins. She is, however, is fouled on the way up, and she'll shoot a pair of shots at the free throw line. Let's look at this uh, on the foul. Brings it up towards the paint and draws the foul. Good job there, drawing the foul by Martins. Foul goes against Layla Pyers. That's her second personal, second team foul here in this second half. Uh, Haley makes one of two. And the ball is deflected out of bounds off the rim and Voke will just let it go out of bounds. It'll be their ball. Five points for Haley Martin so far in the game. Here's Dias on the crossover. Hand off to Pyers. We know she can shoot. Dubois. Excellent ball handler. Hands it off to Pyers. Her shot inside of the paint is no good, but she is smacked on the shooting motion and she'll shoot two at the free throw line. And the foul is going to go against Abby Zuber. That's her first personal. Clear as day. Had the body in the paint. Smacked her on the way up. And she's smiling as she goes to the free throw line because Layla Pyers knows that she earned that one for sure. Making one of two at the line was Pyers with four minutes to go. Halfway through this third quarter and losing the handle is Martins and the Bears come up with it. Check that, that was actually Oliveira, not Martins. Shot in the paint, a left-handed floater by Dubois, no good. Rebound grabbed by Cheesebro. Cheesebro, now over to Oliveira. That's a three, no good. Rebound Zuber on the way up, no good. But she is fouled again, and she'll go to the line again for two more shots. She's doing a great job boxing out on the offensive boards here tonight. First off, I just want to give great enthusiasm to Ava Oliveira there. Uh, taking the three-point shot, uh, taking a big risk there, and Zuber drawing the foul as well. Great job there. The foul goes against Khalees Diaz. That's her. Second personal, third team foul of the half. Well, I got to tell you, Ben, Mr. Parati's teaching you well. Yeah. You know, you're not too bad for a sophomore. You're doing well. And, yeah. Uh, you know, I was a former protege of Mr. Bob Parati. Yeah, he's a really good man. He's, he's a good teacher. He's you'll really. Learn, if you pay attention, you'll learn a lot from him. Yeah. 
He's a really good guy, though. Nice move by Dias, and it's good off the window. 59 to 25. One of the few offensive highlights for Evoke Tech here in this third quarter was that layup by Dias, and almost stealing it away was Dubois. And now the Indians have numbers as a result. Trying to kick it back, stolen again by Dubois. And Dubois is one on one. The layup is good, and she'll go to the line. The foul will be against Remy Barber, and that's one of the few bright spots tonight for the Bears has been the play of Kiara Dubois on the steal. Yeah, Kiara Dubois, but uh, looks like uh, Ava Oliveira tripped there and tried to get the steal, but Dubois able to draw the foul and the bucket as well. Good job by her. She has a very nice release. You can see, by the way, she releases with her right hand and she holds that arcing motion up for that extra second there to make sure the aim is on point. You can tell she's well coached. Free throw line jumper, no good. The shot was taken by Alex Kojikaru. The ball is loose on the deck. Who wants it? We have a tie up, we have a jump ball and the arrow's going to stay with the Indians. Great fight there by Kaylin Zuber though fighting for the ball, and not stopping until the whistle is blown. And there's a really good thing that coaches tell you in coaching. Play until the whistle is blown. Absolutely. Inbound pass. Cheesebro, turnaround jumper, rolls around and out. No good. Ball is loose again. We're going to get a traveling violation, however, called on the floor. It's going to go against Vogue Tech. Layla Pyers had it. She sort of tripped over the ball by the by the end line right there under the basket and she's flagged for the turnover. Inbound pass, it's up and good for Catherine Cheesebro. Catherine Cheesebro just did a Robert William play there. Well, the, uh, the, the, the one-time lob, yeah. yeah. One-time lob, yeah. <laughs> 2.30 to go here in the third quarter. It's been all Indians, a nice steal on the pass down low by Zuber, but she steps out of bounds in the process, so it'll still be Voketech ball with 18 ticks to go on the shot clock. I gotta give a lot of kudos to... Inbound oh. pass stolen again, though, by Zuber, and now Zuber will slow it down. This is Kaylin Zuber, not Abby. Abby is 14, and Kaylin is three. Three is up, and it's good! Ava Oliveira from beyond the arc. Five points for Oliveira, a great bench player, and bang! Bang, bang. Three-point shot there. 64 to 28. It has now become a laugher at the Coach Steve Gaspar court. Shot is up. No good. Stripped away. And here's Oliveira. Over to Kojikaru on the right side. That's a three taken by Kalen Zuber. No good. Rebound tipped by Zuber. That's Abby Zuber. Back over to Cheesebro. A fresh shot clock. She'll slow it down. Cheesebro, a floater. Oh, that's too easy. She's just saying to herself, I could do this easy. Anything you could do, I can do better, though. Here's Dubois trying to set a pick. Does not get that pick, keeps it herself. Drops it back, right side, the pass is errant, out of bounds. It was intended for Pyers, but it was deflected off of, it looked as though it went off of Zuber, that being Kalen on the right side there, so it'll remain bare ball with 18 to go on their shot clock, 1-11 to go on the game. By the way, don't get twisted here. Kalen Zuber is a freshman. Abby Zuber is the senior graduate coming. That's correct. Three-pointer up is no good. Rebound by Kalen Zuber. Got Kalen and Abby at many times he this evening have been on the floor at the same time. Try calling that. There's another three. Oliveira! Caller Chef Curry with the three-point shot. Back-to-back -back threes for Ava. 69, a 28. That's a two if it's good on the shot taken by Sanchez Vasquez. No good. Turnaround shot now by Alvarado Arguda off the bench. No good. Out of bounds. It'll be Dartmouth ball. And let's take a look at that last three. Well, Ava Oliveira, she is on open, fire. Wide open. Bang. She's showing to herself like 
she can do anything that she could possibly do right now. Hopefully she gets another one right here. But you know what? Again, this is a good thing for Coach uh, Jalbert to see because now you're proving to your coach that you can shoot threes off the bench now if needed. Yeah, she's a really good bench player. I'm hoping like she gets more time when in the game's last... Dubois almost lost it, hands it off to Dias. They have to hurry. Two seconds, one second. It's good if it counts. The shot is up no good. It was taken by Alvaro Aguda. And time has expired here in this third quarter of play with the score, Dartmouth High School 69, Greater New Bedford Regional Vocational Technical High School 30. We'll be right back with the fourth and final quarter in just a brief moment here on ETV. The fourth and final quarter of play is now before us as the Dartmouth High School Indians are well in control and unless if there's a collapse of catastrophic, of biblical proportions here in the final eight minutes, the Indians are going to improve their season record to seven and five as they lead by 39 points, 69 to 30. Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to the fourth quarter of action. Ian Abreu alongside Ben Smith. Ben. What are you looking for in this last quarter from the Indians? Just close it out strong and continue to boost your stats. Yeah, I'm hoping, like, I think put Catherine Cheeseboro a little bit into this fourth quarter, like four minutes, and then put another player and bench Catherine for the whole entire game. You have a large margin league here. And if you evoke Tech, obviously, you want to try to continue to do your own best to get as close to a respectable score as you can here and there's a three taken up and it's looked good off the arc the shot by Dubois is no good but she gets her own rebound leaves it off on the right side the shot taken by Alvaro Aguta is no good and the rebound is now grabbed by Zuber Zuber over to Oliveira who has the hard hand kicks it now to Kojikaru and she hands off to Cheesebro who slows it down a floater Oliveira oh. That was a two if it was good, but she just missed it. And the rebound was grabbed by Kaylin Zuber, but she stripped away on some nice defense by Dubois. I like the confidence there by Oliveira, but a little bit too strong, and air, she airballed it. Sanchez Vasquez was looking to take it to the hole, but she was stripped away, and now we've got Cheesebro who will slow it down. Kojikaru kicks it left side of the elbow. Zuber, swing it around. Good ball movement by the Indians here. Zuber, a floater, yes. She saw a lane, she saw a path, she took it, and she banked it home. Yep. She's showing it out right now. So far, she has got out of bounds. It'll be Dartmouth ball. Anyway, she's got 11 points so far in the game. Samantha Kamara has checked back into the ball game for the Indians, and... Again, as predicted, as we talked about, the Indians will continue to empty out their bench. And Madison Kat Pine comes back in. Catherine Cheesebro going on the bench right now. And Sarah Kelly will also check back in. As uh, right now, Catherine, 21 points. That's a good stat line. And we weren't keeping track of rebounds here. It's too much. We don't have a statistician here at this desk. But I would go on a limb and say she has a double-double easily. All the rebounds she had today... There's no doubt in my mind. Yeah, so far she's having a really good game so far. Pine. Over to Kojikaru. A floater. Ooh, in and out. Just rolls around and out. The rebound is grabbed by Pine. Her shot is no good. Deflected. And here come the Bears and Dubois. She draws two. 
Kicks it back, a three is up and good for Diaz. 71 to 33 now your score. Large, mar uh, large margin lead here for Dartmouth, but able to get that three right away though. That's a three if it's good. The shot is wild by Kamara, but the rebound luckily for the Indians is grabbed by Kelly and Dartmouth retains possession. Here's Pine. Over to Zuber. Bounces it off. Floater up and good for Samantha Kamara. Nice shot. It's now a 40 point lead at 73 to 33. Samantha Kamara to off uh, nothing but net and able to make that shot in. Deep three taken and missed on the back iron. Rebound grabbed by Pyers. Pyers up top to, to Dias, who gave way to Dubois. Now the floater in the paint taken up by Voktek. His shot is no good, taken by Pyers. And Pyers draws the contact, and she'll shoot a pair at the line. Foul will go against Alexandra Kojakaru, the senior forward. That's her first personal, fourth team foul here in the half. Misses them both, rebound grabbed by Sullivan, just coming off the bench. Sullivan, thought about taking a shot, drops it back. Instead of taking the 20 footer as Pine, her shot's no good, rebound to Dubois. Dubois has been one of the lone offensive bright spots for the Bears here tonight. Free throw line jumper, no good. Rebound grabbed down low by DeVega. Shot is up, no good. It's deflected back. Swing it around, we go. Deep three taken, miss, no good. Rebound to Kelly. Sarah Kelly will now slow it down. And she'll bounce it over to Valerie Carrera, also off the bench. Carrera as... Ben pointed out earlier, a freshman plays on the JV squad, getting some key varsity minutes here tonight due to the score being what it is. Nice over and under move by Dubois, no good. Ball is deflected out of bounds. We're going to get a blocking foul called against the Indians, and there'll be two shots administered to Dubois. She'll take two, and the foul went against Kamara. That's her first personal 15 foul. Coach Mike Pryor. Hoping for his team to at least finish strong here and getting a much needed rest is Kiara Dubois. She'll finally sit down for a little bit. She's been out there the entire ball game so far. Yeah, so far she she deserves that rest here at, in this part of the game. Um, you know, it's a pretty devastating uh, shutout game here, but at least take a breather and come back in the game with two minutes to go. One on two, the bounce pass is stripped away and stolen by Voke Tech. We have a drop back to Dias. Dias thought about a shot. Baseline jumper by DeVega, no good. Rebound, loose, deflected tip. This is Gonzalez. Now Gonzalez with a chance, blocked again. She's being guarded by Kelly. Bounces it, deflected out of bounds. It goes off of Carrera on the far side. It'll remain Voketech ball with 20 to go on the shot clock. Valerie Carrera, back-to-back -back rebounds, and man, oh man, she's having herself a good day on the bench as well. As well, she's a JV player, but she's looking like a... Uh... DeVega on the rebound, gets it back to Dias. It was Junior, I was gonna say Junior. She looks like a Junior right now playing out here. 
73 to 38 now your score. This game well in hand for the Dartmouth High Lady Indians. Here's Samantha Kamara. Kamara drops it off on the left side, down low. Wide open was Kelly. She'll draw the double team, instead kicks it back to Carrera. Her three, no good. Sullivan is on the deck. Great hustle by Sullivan to grab it, and she saves it, gets it to Pine. Great defense there by Kate Sullivan. Able to get the ball. Deep three, taken by Carrera, no good. Rebound to Sullivan, and we'll get a jump ball called. As Sullivan was tying up with Dias, the arrow will remain with the Indians. They'll inbound under their hoop, their attacking hoop, where they are attacking. Kelly looking for help. Wide open with it was Pine. Her shot was no good, but grabbing the offensive board is Kelly with the hustle and a fresh shot clock for Dartmouth with 2.15 to go. Sullivan draws two. Right side, three ball taken by Pine, no good. Rebound loose, again, another offensive board by Kelly. Sullivan, could have been called for a double dribble there, but her layup is up and good. Kate Sullivan banks it home. That's her first point of the game so far by Kate Sullivan. That was one the officials certainly let go. She definitely double dribbled. She put both hands on the ball on the deck, but who's looking? Three ball deep is up and good. Now we need Carrera to make a shot, and that means all the players have scored so far in the game. Correct, so we're looking for Valerie Carrera to bank one home. Kelly's shot is blocked down low. Nice block, and here comes Dias in transition. One on two, a layup, yes, and one. Nice play and hustle by Kesselis Dias. The Indians are now one foul away from being in the penalty. They're at 16 fouls. That's the second personal foul against Kamara. And Dias executes the three-point play. It's 75 to 44. What I got to give credit to is to Voke right now, managing their fouls so far in the first half. They had nice move by Sullivan. Her shot is just wide, but... It is deflected off of DeVega down low. It'll remain Indian ball with 1.14 to go. Wide open, three. No good taken by Carrera. That would have been the money shot right there. There's another three on the corner. Kate Sullivan grabs the rebound, puts it up. Yes! Kate Sullivan logging some big time minutes off the bench here in the Waning minutes of the ball game, and she has a chance for a three-point play. Yeah, what a great steal, and putting it back up and draw the foul there. I gotta give credit to Kate Sullivan. It's a very obvious size advantage she has right now on the court. She's using it to her advantage, and why not? Here's Carrera with the chance. Thought about that shot to make the score is she, but she does not, very unselfishly. Carrera, now thought again about a shot. Will she take it? Nope, she bounces it back. 20 on the shot, 49 on the game. Nice pass, nice look by Sullivan, looking for the cutting pine. She was all alone. She was looking at the net and not the ball, and she was thinking about that next move, and it just bounces off her hands, out of bounds. It'll be Voke ball. A little bit of miscommunication by Ganji in Pine there. Here's Dias. Drops it back, a floater taken by Gonzalez. No good ball is loose on the floor. It's grabbed by Pine with 20 on the game clock, but she is stripped out of bounds. She lost it as she was trying to bring it up, and you got to give credit to Dias right there for Vogue Tech. She could have just retreated and let the Lady Indians wind the clock down. She didn't do it. She hustled the whole way. Dias will take a three, and will make a three. Casalis Dias, it's now a 30-point game with five seconds to go, and that'll wrap it up. The Indians... 
I go to win going away here tonight, 77 to 47 in this non-league tilt. And with the win, the Indians improved to seven and five overall in the 2022-2023 high school season campaign, while the Volk Tech Lady Bears fall to one and 11, 10 games under 500. Ben, final thoughts. I mean, the Indians were clicking on all cylinders right from Jump Street, of course, led by Catherine Cheesebro, and she had a lot of support from her supporting cast here tonight. Yeah, she really put it up, uh, and she had a really good game as well. 21 points. Uh, so far, we had a lot of bench players going out here tonight and uh, putting it at a wide lar uh, large margin here, and it has been a great night with you, Ian. Uh, I appreciate our time, and Hope to see we have a game together soon. I think there'll be one more game you and I will have together. Derek Baptiste, my broadcast partner, can't make one other game in the future. So uh, you and I will be sitting side by side again once uh, in a few weeks. Yeah, hopefully. Coming up uh, for the girls basketball, uh, Dartmouth girls will be playing uh, in a few weeks from now. They're going to be taking a break next week. And then they will be playing against Aponiquit at Aponiquit. Tip off there will be at 6.30. And now uh, boys basketball will be in a few weeks here on DCTV. Um, it will be against Brockton High School Boxers. So, Ian, I would like to say you will probably have me or Will Bouvier, who is another commentator as well. Um, but he's the same thing as me. Okay, so he's a very respectful young man. Yeah. And that's how I know I'm getting old when I'm referring to you as a young man. Oh, boy, where have these years gone? <laughs> That'll wrap things up from the Carlton Lynch Activity Center. The final score for the final time, Dartmouth High School 77, the Greater New Bedford Vogue Tech Bears 47. The Dartmouth High Indians are victorious here tonight at the Steve Gaspar Court. For Chad Amaral, Peter Chase, and our entire production crew, again, this is Ian Abreu alongside with Ben Smith. On behalf of all of us, we ought to say good night, everyone. And we'll see you soon.